How you doing? Good. Good to see you, brother. Good to see What's you. What's cracking? I was looking earlier. I'm like, when's the last time we did the podcast? It was two years ago. Uh, September of 2021. A lot's changed since then. Yeah. That was in the height of the madness. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We still have uh, the GOAT as the president, Joseph, which is doing <laughs> a really good job. He's, he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, amazing that they still keep rolling them out there. Yeah. At what time, do you think, I mean, there's still a solid year left. I can't imagine he's actually going to make it to the 2024 elections. I just don't believe it. You, you know what was kind of weird, what I saw the other day on Twitter? I saw an ad from Newsom uh, for campaigns. So I'm like, what are you doing? What's the outcome of you raising money right now? It's not like you're you know, running for governor or you need to start raising money now. So what's this all about? So that clip, uh, uh, the ad I saw for two days of Newsom, that kind of made me think. I remember... Um, Four years ago, I don't know if you remember this event, it's four years ago, and Joe Biden's not on Instagram at all. So he's not on Instagram, he's not doing anything. All of a sudden, every, oh, Joe, you know, Joseph Biden, he's on, Joe Biden's on Instagram. And I put a comment, first comment, all this means is he's running. Okay, this is pre him announcing that he's going to run. Right. And I'm boom, because what's Joe Biden going to do on Instagram? You know, put a picture of who is, you know. You know, what he's doing, pictures with Hunter, pictures with his seventh granddaughter. You know, you're not you're not gonna know what he's gonna put up there, right? So when you see signs with Newsom doing that, there's something there. You know, with uh, uh, whether these guys are planning for taking him out. I had Chris Cuomo on the podcast a couple weeks ago, and one of the things I remember during COVID, I don't know if you remember this, every day we would see Andrew Cuomo. Every day, the conversation was, this guy's going to be the next president. Look how presidential he is. You know, the, the, the vast difference between two guys from New York, one acts presidential, the other one doesn't. If Andrew ran today, he would be the president. And every day, you know, we go on Facebook, he's doing his thing, he's eating. And then, uh, like, okay, maybe this guy's going to do it. And he's on the show always with Chris, and they're doing their stuff. And I'm like, okay, maybe this is going to happen. And then all of a sudden, his own party chose to eliminate him because he couldn't be controlled. So the, the thing about the Democratic Party sometimes, it could be both sides. Uh, I think if they choose to eliminate Biden, it's going to be two, three, four stories on what they're going to say. He's choosing to step away due to health. You know, my wife and I had a conversation, Jill, we're going to spend more time with the grandkids. Uh, and if he doesn't do it, then they're going to come out and they're going to say, listen, man, we got a lot of dirt on you, bro. You got to kind of step away if you want to protect your legacy. You're 81. We're going to have somebody else come in here. Notice Newsom's been edifying you and propping you up, and Newsom trashes DeSantis, and he's edifying you. This is a way of Newsom to come out if he thinks, because I think Newsom thought it's going to be him and DeSantis, because DeSantis' camp maybe thought he's going to fall out, Trump's going to f- drop out, and Newsom's maybe thinking about that as well. <laughs> and, and then, so Newsom's going to come out and say, look, you know, DeSantis is not loyal. How do you trust a man that wasn't loyal to the guy that helped him become a governor without Trump? The Santos you think wouldn't. He would say that. I think he would say that, and then he would say, "But look how loyal Newsom was to the very end to Biden." I think that is a good storyline for them to redirect the world. Now, listen, I'm purely speculating, but it I don't is think what it there's is. There's any value in being loyal to Biden, especially as time comes on and more and more corruption get exposed. I I do not think that there's any value in that. I don't think they're going to do that. If I had to guess, Biden steps down due to a variety of reasons, health reasons, age, he can't do it anymore, and then the corruption. The massive amounts of corruption. It depends on how far the Republicans pursue this yeah. and how much traction they get, but the massive amount of corruption that's available. I feel like if this was Trump that was in office, every single newspaper would be talking about it nonstop. They'd be screaming for him to be removed from office. I don't disagree. Uh, I don't disagree. How they get away with it now when you're hearing everybody from the other say how they're weaponizing the justice system to eliminate a candidate. Uh, I don't know if you're following what Vivek said yesterday. He came out and says, look, I want to compete against Trump, but not by using some like this and what they're doing on the other side. All I'm saying is if Newsom shows that he's being respectful of Biden, because what is your theory of why DeSantis is not having momentum? What do you think about when you think about DeSantis? He doesn't have the personality. I, don't, I just don't think he can compete with Trump. Trump has just this cult behind him. I mean, these people that love Trump, the, he's their yeah. hero. And 
the things that he says, the bombastic personality, the way he can control a room, the way he speaks in an arena of screaming fans like and makes people laugh and says things that they want to hear. DeSantis can't do that. I mean, he did a great job with Florida, and, and people mm -hmm. loved his position as a governor in Florida, but I feel like he's fucking that up. You think he should have ran? No. Oh, no, so you don't I even don't think, think he should have so. ran? I don't think he can beat Trump. As long as Trump doesn't get arrested, as long as he is, you know, he's been indicted again, and you know, who knows where that goes. But if Trump's not in jail, he can't beat him. Yeah. And the people that, that love Trump, they feel like this is a witch hunt. And they feel like all the things he's getting indicted for are bullshit anyway. It does, it, not only does it not work, but it kind of hardens their position mm -hmm. that he's being targeted. And that this is, these are like the, the actions of a banana republic. You take your political rival and you arrest him. And specifically, you charge him with things that you're fucking guilty of. Like the, the, the documents, like the classified documents. Biden's guilty of the exact same issue. You, you got to respect the a level of deceptiveness that's been used. I mean, you, look at what Hillary did, going and saying, hey, it's Russia, but it was really, you know, what she was doing. And now they're using a similar play as well. I don't know. I, it, did you did you ever, because I remember when I was in, uh, when we did, uh, we were there at the show, uh, was it in Jacksonville? You were performing and it was UFC, all of it combined together. I think DeSantis was there watching, right? Yeah. I think he came to the show. Did, did you and him ever talk about him getting on the show or no? You guys? Uh... Um, I talked to him. I said hi to him. Okay. Met him. But you've never invited him to be on the no. show. Okay. Here's what I'll tell you from my experience with his camp, which is kind of weird for me. So everybody you speak to from Vivek's camp, RFK's camp, Trump's camp, like this, they get back to you. They'll just get back to you. Here's what's going on. Here's where we are. Every time you try to get a hold of anybody from DeSantis' camp, good luck. And by the way, it doesn't matter if it's like, you know, uh, we go and we meet with him in, um, in uh, 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 Tallahassee. I sit down and I meet him and his wife, Casey, rock star, Casey something else. And DeSantis is a genius when it comes down to policies and all that stuff, but maybe not a marketer. Whether it's Christina, whether it's this other guy calls me the other day saying, hey, they're telling me you're having a hard time getting a hold of us. I said, no, no, we're not having a hard time getting a hold of anybody. You guys call, but you never call back afterwards about doing something together. So then that gets me to think, now all the interviews that he's doing with people, the first question everyone's asking is, why do you think your rating's so low? Why do you think you had to do this? Why do you think you had to do that? I think their marketing mistake was big, not coming out the gates early on.